before it away. Spill the beans. On what? How was this COVID impact you with working? Well, getting used to all the, the different, um, what's they call it? Visiting different places and getting used to how they work and sticking to the government guidelines, even though you're mixing with different, uh, different people throughout the day, but you're still gonna be distant from your family which is odd, but mixing with other people you don't know and get contact with and it has its, it has its toll at the end of the day. But, um, and how, how has your wife been about it all and the, the two girls? Oh, they, they've been so, and my, my wife's uh, very supportive when it comes to me working and knows, and knows how much I love to work. And, and, and obviously, Craig, at the beginning of all this, um, obviously we did have problems with work and it, it did detail off and um, with a few drivers getting furloughed um, and you worked all the way through it didn't you? Yeah I was one of the lucky ones I had I think I had one I had one day off through it but since then I've, uh, I've worked all the way through Um, and but, but, but a few of your friends also work for the company and all that they've been the same. This is a lovely view of Penn's Net. We're on our way back to the unit now. He's just loaded up from one of our customers. Um, now Craig joined us as a class two driver. When did you join the company Craig? January 2018. 2018 and yeah. obviously when did you start when did you when did we put you through to your class one september 18 six months later seven months later and what do you enjoy about driving the class one? Oh, just you can you can explain it's just great being behind the wheel of a a big machine basically king of the road are you? and you passed first time now didn't I passed you first time yeah we're, fly, we're flying colors and it was a big commitment to you to join the company wasn't it because you'd been at your previous company for how many years 16 years, 16 yeah, years. so it was a big big change for me big change for the the family yeah and a big very risk. hard very hard the first eight or nine months for me yeah to, to adapt to different work situation and different times of working finishing different times of night but I've adapted quite well I think and uh, I, I just enjoy it I just enjoy doing what I do and do you enjoy working for the company oh yes I wouldn't be here if I were <laughs> I wouldn't but you know there's any I've got yourself to thank for uh, putting me through my class one and yeah, yeah no no worries at all there stuck by me so but listen, let's go, let's kick back to this COVID thing. When when it first really, really lockdown come in, could you call it a lockdown as such? I don't think so. Not, but not, not for myself. Uh, how was you going to customers? Well, obviously, I know we had a lot of trouble with customers not being open. And um, but how how was you with the customers? Was they? I know there was a few drivers did suffer with. Obviously, not a lot of uh, services, toilets, yeah. <clears throat> which was critical. Yeah. Cri critical to you all. I, I admired everything what you do. To be honest with you, so is is it is are they all fully functional now? Virtually, yeah. You can you do struggle to use some of the customers' toilets that don't need to use them, which is probably understandable. But we should have access to toilet facilities if you're on site for longer than 20 minutes anyway. By law, they're gonna give you access to toilet. But with the situation we're in, it's hard for some companies to let you do that. Yeah, and what about the services? Services have been great. They've been kept open all the way through the services for the toilet facilities and the shower facilities. But as they're getting food, that's where, that's where we've struggled on getting food. Yeah. And what about, have you noticed a major difference in the traffic on the roads? It's just starting to get back to normal, I think now. You can tell 
when it starts to when you're queuing up at the places where you know where you should, where there is queues to be likely. Yeah. Uh, but in the, in lockdown it was great. You could get a good day's running in probably use a quarter of your time, which saves on fuel wear and tear of the, the vehicle. Yeah. But it's going to be the new norm now, all this. Um, it's going to be another health and safety issue with all this. We're all going to have to adapt to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. with sanitising and everything like that. And what do you like about this daft truck, Craig? Oh, I, I just love the daft. I love daft trucks. Yeah? The drive, the smoothness. I just love, I just love this one. Nice. We're back at base now. What we're going to do is here now. What we'll do, we'll go and take a little break and then we'll see what Craig's got on the back of this beast. Um, just unloading this load. So, what, um, just running through us, what is your daily, give me a rough idea of how many hours you do a week or? We start off on a, a Monday and we're looking at probably minimum of 60 hours and that ranges from uh, delivering gas cylinders for the um, oxygen. Oh yeah, a lot of these went to the NHS, didn't they? Yeah, for the NHS, which is a, a vital, a vital uh, product. Then uh, we can deliver chocolate. Anything, anything you can think of. Um, nights out. Nights out, yeah. You can drive, come back on a Friday from Monday, or maybe not even have a night out. It all depends on what work you're on and what what situation of work we need. Yeah. So it is Saturday morning, and we are relatively busy this morning. We all. Um, Trucks getting finished off, returning back in. One of our lovely Alzheimer's trailers there. And Alex's V8. A um, couple going out to Europe over the weekend. And that's. So, have you ever thought of it doing about European work, Craig? Pardon? European work? Does it interest you at all? To be honest, I've, ne I've never ever done it. No? I wouldn't mind it. I, I would give it a go to, for the experience and something different. You get a bit of sun on my legs. And... <laughs> you won't get sun in the middle of winter in Norway, that's for sure. Yeah. So what are you doing now? What what were you, you you unload? He's going to unload this. Have you finished or? Yeah, no, no, I'm going to wash wash my truck down, get a bit of TLC. Are you going to wash that truck off? It hasn't been done this week, then I take it. Now it's been very busy on the road. 